Controversy has reached a crescendo in Streetsboro over a fundraiser to benefit Cleveland rock and roll legend Sonny Geraci. The event held this past November was a complete success, but organizers say nine weeks later, the funds are nowhere to be found. So they filed a police report and turned to Five on Your Side troubleshooter Joe Paganakis. Joe, we're talking about a lot of money here. That's right, Lee. Nearly $24,000 remains missing. All of those funds were set to go to the Geraci family to help Sonny with his recovery after the rock legend suffered an aneurysm 18 months ago. Sonny Geraci recorded hits like Time Won't Let Me and Precious and Few in the early 70s. And nine weeks ago, a fundraiser held for the rock legend here at Strings and Wings Z-Plex in Streetsboro. 2,000 attended the two-day event, but now more than two months later, Z-Plex owner Bill Thompson has failed to turn over nearly $24,000 to the Geraci family to help Sonny recover from a debilitating aneurysm. I'm sick to the bottom of my stomach over this whole issue that I even had to go to the police department. That was not my intentions. Streetsboro Family Days founder Chuck Casisco helped organize the Geraci fundraiser. He says Thompson has made nothing but promises. Three times he told me he wired the money to us and three times I went to him and said, look, I didn't get the money. What happened? And I believe the fourth time he said to me that uh, it was a mixture of numbers or something and that's why I didn't go to our bank. Doesn't appear that anybody's here. Thompson's Z-Plex was locked up this afternoon. An hour later, we caught up with him at his Cuyahoga Falls home. He blamed the delays on paperwork. It took me six to eight weeks for accounting. I mean, you have paperwork this big, over 400 documents that I had to track, PayPal, online tickets, match them all up. Minutes later, Thompson made us a deal. If you reach out, communicate, Send some due diligence money and get on the right course. I think this will all get cleared up. Absolutely. Okay. I appreciate you doing that. No problem, sir. Okay. And if you could contact Sonny's wife even, I think they're kind of wondering. Meanwhile, Casisco had a simple message for Thompson. Pay us. Show me the money. And this is all going to go away. And this may be too late now. I, I don't know. And the Portage County prosecutor is looking into this case. We'll follow up and let you know if Thompson lives up to his promises. Meanwhile, all the information you need to know about the Streetsboro Family Days event coming in July posted right now on Newsnet5.com. Live on 5, I'm troubleshooter Joe Paganakis. Well, I know a lot of people will be watching to see if mm -hmm. Mr. Thompson does the right thing yes. here. I love the way Joe is basically says to people, well, will you just do the right yeah. thing? Just come on. Do just the just right do thing here. Communicate. Right. Usually it's communication. That's yes. all you have to do. That will That's do right. it. Clear the air. All what right. are you communicating today? Ice Jam Flooding. That's the name of our new rock band.